Hello everybody and welcome, I'm Son of Mogaf. It's Wednesday and I'm playing some Outer Wilds. Last week I got myself killed. To not put a too fine a point on it, I turned off the Ash Twin project, which is uh, responsible for the memories that you pick up during the loops, and without it, I it was just death. Which is, uh, yeah... Bad. I did a bad, essentially. So, uh, I did have a conversation with our very own Untrusted Life about it. Apparently there was some big reveal last week that I just either didn't understand or didn't catch. Probably both knowing me. So, between episodes, I did go and, you know, read up the information that I'd gathered already... One of the issues with playing a game with a heavy story once a week for half an hour at a time is that I kind of only have small pieces of the story and it's difficult to piece together, you know, you have to remember everything as opposed to playing it in one chunk so you can absorb it a little bit better. So I'm going to go over briefly what... I understand the story is, and if people would like to correct me, please go ahead and uh, feel free to do so in the comments section. Also, before I get into it as well, brand new Discord, so uh, if people want to come and join in, there'll be a link in the description. Also, I've got a special video planned for tomorrow. So uh, if people could come along and uh, participate in that, I'd be very, very grateful. Sure. Again, the story as I understand it, and I'm under the distinct impression I understand it not very well. <laughs> and, you know, not completely, because I don't have all the pieces. So there was this race of aliens, who I can't pronounce the name of, because words, picked up a signal from what they call the Eye of the Universe, and they flitted off to go and find it without really telling anyone. But they lost the signal, and I'm not sure what happened first, if they lost the signal first, or if they got caught up in the plant stuff from, supposedly, or I'm guessing from Dark Bramble. One of those two things happened, so they had to launch escape pods and settle in the solar system that the game takes place in. Now, after that, they tried to find the signal from the eye of the universe, but failed. There was a project that was essentially just spinning rings that were supposed to lock on. I forget what planet that was on. So on the Asshole Rock... I have a feeling it might have been on Atle Rock, but that didn't work. So they made a probe cannon and they fired off a bunch of probes, which also didn't work. So they devised a two part plan. One was to, well, a multiple part plan was to continue launching probes, but send the information back in time 22 minutes and to also allow themselves to remember things from you know the information from previous probe cannon launches by setting up the ash twin project which is the you know the masks and the looping and the memories and that kind of thing the memories go back in time to a younger version of you so without the ash twin project you've got no way to use the information that's being made available but to power it, they needed to make the sun go supernova, which they also failed to do, so they abandoned it and went to other things like exploring the interloper and whatnot. Uh, uh, billions? I don't. Tens of billions? I'm not sure. An amount of time after that, the sun reached the end of its natural lifespan, went supernova, which powered the Ash Twin project, which. Uh, kind of doomed us to be in an endless loop of, you know, things happening. Well, I'm sure I've missed a lot out there, but, you know, that's a boiled down version. The implication is that I can find the eye of the universe, although I, I 
I've always assumed that. Like from the first time I read about it, I was like, "Oh, this is the MacGuffin of the game. We're going to have to find it and then do something to, you know, save the solar system." I still don't get what that is. I don't understand how finding the MacGuffin will, you know, stop a sun going supernova. But then they do talk a lot about how it appears to be older than the universe, which implies that the eye of the universe made the universe in some way. So maybe it, I don't know, could make the universe young again. I still don't get that. Anyway, with, uh, what, <laughs> several minutes of waffle about things I don't understand, we're going to go off to the interloper and explore, see if I can get another piece of the puzzle that I don't get. <laughs> well, let's go ahead and have a look at this. I'm going to be under the impression that this is a very difficult thing to land on, Whenever I've seen it on the map, it appears to be going very, very quickly. And this might take me a couple of attempts. In fact, I'm expecting it to. Let's go ahead and... Uh, where is it? The interloper. Can I lock onto this, please? Hello? Oh, god damn it. Again, I've got this issue where sometimes I have to click the mouse and sometimes I don't. I don't really know how that works. I'm going to wait for it to clear the sun, because this autopilot will just plow me right into it. It's done that to me on several occasions. Trying to get from uh, Timberhearth to any other place. If there's something in the way, it'll just boosh, slam you right into it. Now, off we go! Okay, I'm here. I decided to uh, not show the whole thing. Did a cut in case it took me several attempts. I actually, I did it on my first attempt. Go me! All I've got to do now is wander around aimlessly. <laughs> I want to find something that will uh, tell me something about something. Uh, let's try going to one of the poles, I guess. Oh, oh, whoa, <laughs> gravity's like so much lower than I thought it was. Am I going to die if I go to the, the cold side? I feel like that might be a thing, you know, with... I might, you know, freeze. Oh, oh god, oh. Okay, so... Oh, this is weird. Okay, so I think I might have found something here. This is troublesome. It seems the comet wishes to submerge our shuttle in ice. If we stay on the surface too long, the shuttle may freeze entirely. Uh-oh. Even if it did, couldn't someone call it back home to the gravity cannon on Ember Twin? Yes, but the exploration of the comet, comet would be... More difficult if we were without the shuttle till someone recalled it. Perhaps we shouldn't have landed on the dark side of the comet. Suppose one of us remained in the shuttle to keep it warm and continue monitoring the surface. This would be wise, I think, Clary. If you don't mind waiting here with it, Poke and I continue to investigate the surface. Okay. Oh. That gave me an update for some reason. There's something... Oh, God! Doesn't look like there's actually... anything here. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh! I'm actually getting zoomed out into space. No, 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 no! No, no! No! Oh, God, can I catch this up with just my backpack? Okay, okay, I can, I can. Holy hell, that was terrifying. Uh, let me go back to the ship and just top up my... Oh, 
My ship appears to have left without me. Damn it! <laughs> That's entirely my fault. Oh, wait. Is that moving? I thought I saw that move. No. All right. <laughs> After all the moving stuff, like on, uh, you know, Ash Twin and that kind of thing, I'm kind of just paranoid about things moving around and crushing me and whatnot. What exactly am I looking for here? They did talk about the dark side of this. So there is that. Oh, is this a thing? Oh, this might be a thing. Does this go somewhere? Oh, oh, hang on, hang on. Oh, God, it's slippy and it's slidey and it's floaty and I don't like it. Uh, okay, so that does I don't know if any of this goes anywhere. I am constantly lost. Nobody's surprised by this. Oh, hang on. I don't know if these are just, like, crevices or if they actually, like, go somewhere. Ah, uh, well. Is that moving or not? It looks like it is on occasion. I think it's just because I'm moving. Even when I'm trying to stay still, it, like, creates a, a kind of optical illusion. Or it just creates bad brain son of Mogif things. <laughs> right, let's see if I can make my way carefully but over to the dark side of the, the comet. Did I say dark side of the moon previously? Never mind. Everyone knows what I'm talking about. I hope. Oh god. Oh god. Oh, oh, this is bloody awful. Okay. Let's be gentle. Uh, this is definitely, like, the dark side of it. Ow. <laughs> it's a giant piece of ice, son of Mogev. Chill the hell out. <laughs> smash my face into it. Was that the only thing to find here? I I find that really difficult to believe. The sun is definitely on that side. Oh, oh, was that a thing? Or was that the thing that I already found? Yep, that's the thing I already found. Okay, I might do another cut here then while I wander around and try and find something. There was a log that I vaguely remember because I've been reading them about something underneath the ice. Oh, this is going to be bad. So I don't know if there's like an opening or something along those lines I need to find. But let me have a wander around, see what I can find. Hey, look. Look, I think I might have found something. I did die during the cut. I suffocated to death. So I had a little wander around, a big wander around, in fact. Found essentially nothing, and then suffocated to death. I've just come back. Look, I landed the ship right here, so I lucked my way into this. There's like a thing opening up. That's kind of crazy. Oh, at least now I'm over the surf under under the surface. I can't. Uh, oh, oh god, oh god, this ghost matter. Okay, so I need to do this and then do that and do this and then do that. Right. But how close is that? Uh. Okay, I'll go this way then. Oh, for crying out loud, really. Oh, oxygen. Hello. Let me put that away. <laughs> How is there a tree down here? I mean, I'm not complaining all that much, but I'm just... It's weird. I'm receiving much stronger energy readings now that we're beneath the crust. Whatever it is must lie somewhere below, closer to the comet's comet center and i'm starting to think it's more dangerous than we realized larry can you hear us yes but your voices are faint i fear 
We will lose communication entirely if you continue any deeper. Keep the shuttle warm for us. We'll return the moment we identify the source of the energy readings. I understand, but be cautious. Okay. I'm going to assume that didn't end well. I don't see any ghost matter down there. But then I don't see it there either. Oh god, I came from that way. I guess I'll just stop the left tunnel and work my way through. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm stuck. There we go. I'm gonna try and take regular snapshots to... Oh god. Oh no. Yeah, so not that way then. Oh. Oh, oh, it's really weird to manoeuvre in here. Like, sometimes you can walk and sometimes you've got to use your jetpack. Is that a tunnel? Is this a tunnel? Okay, that's blocked. I think that might have been the other way that I just went. Okay, so that's all ghost matter, I think. Stay away from that as much as possible. Is that a ledge? Can I get up there? Oh, scummy devs, look, they've put a pit of deadly ghost matter and they've put, I think, a path up there. I can't really see all that well. Uh, It looks like sort of a ledge. Yep, a sort of a ledge and a sort of a tunnel. <laughs> a sort of a everything. Okay, I think I just came from that way. Ghost matter detected nearby. Great. Oh, oh god, oh god, I can't... Okay, so I need to go down here, I guess. And then... I need to go over here. This is terrifying. Knowing that stuff's gonna kill me and I'm gonna have to, like, do it again if it does. I don't want to do it again. This place is a freaking nightmare. Oh, oh god. Oh god. Wait, did I just do a loop? Am I back to where I started, or is this a different death pit of ghost matter? <laughs> I think that might be a different death pit of ghost matter. <laughs> okay, so I need to go... Again, I feel like I've just been down here. Like, this is all so similar. I dare say I'm going to get screamed at in the comments. Well, not screamed at, but chided in the comments for just going round in circles. I don't like the fact that I can't seem to get down there. I don't like the fact that I can't tell if I'm going round in circles or not. Did I come from this way or am I going back that way? <laughs> Let's uh, just peep over this crest. Okay, I don't... Look, I'm walking now, where before I had to use my uh, boosty boosts. Yeah, I feel like I just... Was that not where I was previously? Maybe? Because I, I was down there and I jumped up here, didn't I? Just see. Yeah. Yeah, that, that has to be it. Yup. So I did, in fact, just go round in a circle. I came through here, round to here, and then I jumped up there and came all the way back again. Ugh. Uh, okay. Right. Again, I guess I'll do another cut and I'll just try and find my way to somewhere. I'll bring you guys back if that happens. 
Okay, I think I've found the thing. I just missed a tunnel along the way there somewhere. There's a dead guy right there with uh, ghost matter crystals lodged in him. Uh, or her. That sounds bad. And there's a gap, I think, here. Oh. Oh, yeah, that's, uh, that's not great, is it? Can I... Can I... Okay, there doesn't seem to be any actual ghost matter here. That's interesting. Oh, I thought this was laying on top of that. Nope, just floating around. Oh god, let me read this before I get dead. Oh, it locked me in place, that's cool. The spherical stone casing here seems to be the source of the energy readings. No, rather, the source is what's within the stone. I'm detecting some form of exotic matter. Is that what the ghost matter stuff is? I don't know. The stone is muting our energy readings. They should be ten times what we're seeing, at least. Pi, I don't think this... I don't think we want this matter interacting with us. Ghost matter, then. As far as I can tell, direct contact with it would almost certainly be fatal. I've never encountered anything like this casing but it's all that's protecting us from what's inside worse still this matter is disturbingly volatile uh oh good god hang on oh bad things are happening whatever the matter inside the stone is oh for crying out loud this is frustrating Stone's casing seems to be the source of the... Oh. Volatile. Uh, whatever the matter inside the stone casing is... is oh. This is annoying me to no end. Uh, was on six. This is orders of magnitude worse than I'd imagined. If the stone were to rupture, the lethal matter would... Within would rapidly expand, completely blanked in the star system almost instantaneously, and the pressure is still building as the comet approaches the star system. That sounds like a bad thing. Return to the shuttle right now. The rest of our friends need to know that they're in terrible danger. Leave your equipment and run. <laughs> what are you doing? The more we know about this alien matter, the better our chances of survival. Good approach, I approve. I will learn what I can here. Go warn the others. Maybe they can construct shelter somehow? Oh, that sounds particularly awful. Uh, let's... Please be some oxygen down it. I'm about to bloody suffocate again aren't I I don't see anything with trees this kind of reminds me of dark bramble you know I wonder if this they're related I probably not oh I suffocated again <laughs> I, I knew what I was about to but I wanted to have a bit of a floaty float float because those are all technical terms and not just different versions of the same word babbled by a moron. What? There we go. So, what? What did I learn that was new or different? I guess I just I found out where ghost matter comes from, and that people died trying to trying to find that out. Or discovering that. I don't really see how this helps in any way, but I did a thing. So, yeah, I'm going to leave today's episode there. I have no idea how long it's going to be. I did do a, a bunch of cuts during a 22-minute loop. But, uh, you know, short isn't necessarily bad. So thank you, everyone, for watching. I'm Son of Mogev. This is Outer Wilds. Come back tomorrow for my special video. Uh like uh yeah like and subscribe that stuff i would very much appreciate it and again comments in the comments section correct me on the story if i'm wrong uh try and keep it reasonably spoiler th free i'm 
not that bothered, but a little bit bothered. I'm like medium bothered by it. So uh, yeah, once again, thanks everyone for watching. Come back tomorrow. I'll see you then.